Hi Algebra 2 students, we are going to start 5, 7, Roots and Zeros 1. Uh, focus on this learning target in the video. And this one right here, determine the number and types of roots of a polynomial. This one we'll do in class. So we're putting everything together, okay? And um, zeros, factors, roots, and intercepts. And we've talked about this about all, all year. So let's say you have a polynomial, okay, and it's a function then the following statements are equivalent. All right, so if, let's say C is a zero, okay? So if it's a zero, then it's a root, meaning that if we plug it back in, we're gonna get um, zero out. Then we can say that X minus C is a factor. And if C is a real number, then C comma zero is an intercept. So all of these go hand in hand. A zero, a root, a factor and an intercept. They're all the same thing. They all have a relationship. So let's look at this um, example right here. So the zeros are negative 3, negative 2, 1, and 2. The roots then are the same thing. Zeros, roots. The factors then we can write as this right here. And the x-intercepts then we write as ordered pairs. So four different ways to write these answers. And notice it crosses at those spots as well. So the fundamental theorem of algebra, every polynomial equation with the degree greater than zero has at least one root in the set of complex numbers. So if we want to solve this equation, we'll state the number and types of roots. That's what we're going to um, look at in this video, this example. So some ways that you could do this, Part of is you can factor it. Um, you can also graph it to see if you can find a root. If we factor this, we can use Argyle. And we have 3 and 3, so we have x plus 3 times x plus 3, which is 0. So we get x equals negative 3. Now we get negative 3 twice, but do we have to write it twice? No. So if you notice here, here is the root. And notice we wanted to get this many, um, this many roots or zeros. This is called a double root because we see this, we see this factor twice. So this is a double root. So this highest degree here includes um, the double roots, imaginary roots, real roots, all of that. And that leads to this um, next equation. So here, go ahead and try this one. Pause the video and try it on your own. So you can take out an x here. So we have x squared plus 25 equals 0. We've got to set this x equal to 0, so that's one of our roots. And then we have x squared plus 25 equals 0. x squared equals negative 25. So x is going to equal plus or minus 5i because we square root both sides. So it looks like we have a real root here. And then we have two imaginary. And that takes on the form of a complex number. So notice here, it only hits our x-axis once. Here at zero, that's our x-intercept. But then, um, these two imaginary roots, we're not going to see them on the x-axis, because they're imaginary. So the corollary to the fundamental theorem of algebra is the polynomial equation of degree n has exactly n roots. And a lot of you are picking up on that already in the past section in the set of complex numbers, including repeated roots. So here's some examples if you want to write that down. So here's, um, let's look at this one. Solve the each equation, state the number and types of roots. So if we have, if we take out an x, we're left with x plus 2, x squared plus 2 rather, equals 0. Again, we got to set this equal to 0, and then x squared plus 2 equal to 0. x squared equals negative 2, 
square root, square root, x equals plus or minus 2i. So here we have a real root, and then 2 imaginary. And you can always graph this to check your answer to see your x-intercepts. So now what I want you to do in, this, in the Google form below is state the number of types of roots that you're going to get on this. Okay? And that's all I have for you. And, yeah, come with questions. Sorry, my baby's sleeping right now, so I'm going to be kind of quiet. It's late at night, and I don't want her to wake up. So that's why I've been really quiet. All right, we'll see you guys later.